now we see about the first law of thermodynamics which is a basic law in chemical engineering thermodynamics so what is the definition of this although energy assumes many forms the total quantity of energy is constant and when energy disappears in one form it appears simultaneously in other forms so energy can be created in different forms but the total quantity is constant and when energy disappears it definitely appears in another forms so this first law it applies to both the system and surroundings already we have seen the definition of system and surroundings so this first law applies to both so what is the equation generalized equation for this first law is delta of energy of system plus delta of energy of surroundings is equal to zero so when you combine the finite changes delta indicates the finite changes in the quantities of both the system and surroundings so this finite changes becomes equal to zero so this is the basic equation for first law of thermodynamics before going into clear equation of uh, first law of thermodynamics we have to know about uh, some of the terms the first thing is the uh, internal energy it is uh, represented by the symbol u so internal energy is uh, a it refers to energy of molecules making up the substance which are in ceaseless motion so we can uh, refer this internal energy by delta u also it represents the finite changes in internal energy the next term is potential energy which is represented by the symbol ep so it is the energy that an object has because of its position relative to other objects so based on the position relative to the other objects whatever energy it gains that is called potential energy the next term is the kinetic energy which is represented by the symbol ek so it is the energy possessed by an object in motion so based on the moment we get the kinetic energy so here we consider two more definitions that is a closer system so the system in which there is no transport of matter between system and surroundings only there will be energy exchange so that is called closer system then open system so system which can exchange both energy and matter with its surroundings it's called open system so we can transfer both energy as well as mass so considering these two definitions we will uh, will form an equation for the first law of thermodynamics so for this we consider closed system so in which there is no trans in which there is no transport of matter only there will be energy exchange so for this if we consider only kinetic potential and an internal energy changes are involved then delta of energy of system is equal to delta of delta ut plus delta ek plus delta ep whereas ut is the total internal energy of the system and delta ek is the kinetic energy of the system ep is the potential energy of the system so only we are considering kinetic potential and internal energy changes are involved in this system then for the delta of energy of surroundings we consider all the energy exchange between the system and surroundings takes place as heat and work so only the transfer of heat and work takes place between system and surroundings so delta of energy of surroundings is equal to plus or minus q plus or minus w so whether it can take place from the system to the surroundings or from the surroundings to the system so based on that we can decide the symbol plus or minus so from this we can write delta of energy of system is equal to delta of energy of surroundings so delta ut plus delta ek plus delta ep is equal to q plus w based on the modern convention we always consider the transfer takes place from the surroundings to the system so based on that we are taking the positive signs that is a q plus w 
so this is the basic equation for the first law of thermodynamics so when we are considering this closed system we can neglect this uh, external potential or kinetic energy so there will be no change in external potential or kinetic energy so we can neglect this delta ek and delta ep so we can write the equation as delta ut is equal to q plus w so this is the final equation so whenever we ask an equation for the first law of thermodynamics we can simply tell delta ut is equal to q plus w so this is for the finite changes of internal energy so for the differential changes we can write this equation again as du is equal to dq plus dw so so du is equal to dq plus dw that is the equation that is the first law of thermodynamic equation so for the differential changes so du internal energy differential changes is equal to dq plus dw so we can change the symbols based on the transfer of heat and transfer of heat and work from the system to the surroundings